So what if I wanted to find the vector between two points? So for instance, the vector from A to B, vector A. Now we've kept the numbers relatively straightforward, so you can kind of eyeball it and figure it out. A is at uh, one and B is at three, which means we need to go two across from there to there. So two I. And this one's at five and this one's at two. So we need to go three down to get from there to there. So negative three J. That's not the end of the video. Um, we want to do this in a more formulaic way, a way that if we can't see this, if we're working in more than um, two dimensions, which we, we definitely will at some point, um, we can handle it. So let's look at it a little more formally. Any point can be expressed using something called a position vector, where we start at point O and we draw a vector from the origin to the point. Okay, and that's vector OA. You'll know it's a position vector if it starts with an O. OA, position vector. Now the position vector is going to be equal to the point itself. We're moving one across and five up to get there. So the position vector OA is equal to I plus five J. We can draw another position vector here, vector OB. Okay, there's another position vector. And again, we can look at the point itself, three across, two up, three I plus two J. So we have these two position vectors and we can express the vector AB as a linear combination of those position vectors. So to get from A to B, we can move down this one and forward along this one. And that's the key to this. Vector AB is equal to negative OA down that one. So negative OA plus OB. It would really make a lot more sense to write them in the other direction. And so this is the important formula you're supposed to take away from this video. A vector between two points will be equal to the first point, the second point, the second point minus the first point, because those position vectors are the points themselves. So now that we know this formula, if you ever want to find a, a vector between two points, just take the second point and subtract the first point. And so what that looks like for this particular question is vector AB is equal to vector OB. Now vector OB is three across two, so three I plus two J minus vector OA. And vector OA is I plus five J, one I plus five J, I plus five J. J. 3i minus i is 2i and 2j minus 5j is negative 3j. 2 across and 3 down. Again, this is a very straightforward one, but you're going to see more difficult ones later on. This is an instance where using column vectors is going to be really straightforward. Put the point in minus the second point, 3 minus, sorry, minus the first point, 3 minus 1 is 2 and 2 minus 5 is negative 3. We know what vector AB is. If you want to find a vector between two points, this formula gets it done.